Hello there, my name is Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars and another new shape Citroen Berlingo van converted to LPG from day one. This has just come off lease, it's got an LPG filler rather neatly fitted behind the filler cap. Um, you might have seen, I've seen the other videos I've done of these, we sell lots of these at the moment, very popular. Cheaper to run than the diesel version and this is a 60 plate registered the 30th of November 2010. So it's under warranty till 100,000 miles or three years old with Citroen. And coupled with the remaining warranty from BRC. It's got a BRC gas system fitted, which was approved by Citroen. The benefit of this is you still retain the spare underneath there. Look, there's the spare. And you've got a massive 100 litre tank behind the driver. It takes up about, I'd say, 15 inches of length in the load area but uh, with a 100 litre tank you should get about 80 litres in that which will give you an amazing range. Um, ply lined as you can see, ply lined at the rear as well and it's a very clean van. Dries very well indeed. Let me show you some other features. We've not yet validated this, it needs a good vacuum. Uh, being the X trim we get to two seats in the front and an armrest. There's no rips or tears to the fabric, door cards are very clean and I'll just show you a few more features. So inside the Bilingo it's a very nice place to be, it's great if you're having to drive all day because it's very very comfortable. Single shot CD player with a head up display, all the normal heated controls recirculate, a couple of cubby holes in the air vents, a little power point there, doors as a cigarette lighter, electric front windows hazard light switch and to unlock the rear door and lock all the doors. That's the BRC switch for the gas which I'll come to in a moment. Five speed manual gearbox, lots of storage, cup holders, cubby holes. I say we're yet to clean this so they do clean up very well. Sort of quite a small uh, glove box arrangement. Lots of storage and cubby holes though which is uh, very useful if you're spending a lot of time in your van. Also above here we also have a useful place for any documents you want to store. Looking at the documents, whilst we're on the subject, we'll do this now. We have the owner's handbook. There's no service book that may appear, um, but uh, it will have been serviced by Citroen as part of the lease agreement. And what we do have here is the book showing when it was converted to LPG, uh, showing it's got a 100 litre tank, converted at just 39 miles and it was converted by CLS Dual Fuel, people we've used in the past, very good installers of the BRC gas system. Date of fitment 16th of the 12th uh, 2010, so that carrier has the remaining three year warranty on the gas system. Now there's no certificate because all these certificates now are online, so if you go to the uh, LPG uh, drive.co.uk and you can see this certificate online but I can talk you through that process uh, as and when we speak. The V5 is here and it was leased by Lucian Environmental Limited. There's the date of registration 30th of November 2010 and still classed as a uh, petrol car, type of fuel petrol van because there's no financial advantage in turning it into buy fuel because the road tax is still £210 whether it's on petrol, diesel or gas. No previous keepers so you'll be down as the second keeper and like I said it still has the remaining Citroen warranty to run on this van. So we have one key, now the second spare key may appear but take it there's just the one key and being the X trim, it is a non-remote, so you physically have to put the key in the lock to lock and unlock the doors, which is does have uh, remote locking from the one key. It's showing it's 800 miles overdue its next service. Oil OK. That click was it clicking straight over to LPG. Guarantee the mileage there. 45,536 miles and the spanner just denotes it is due a service. Excuse me. All the warning lights go out. We have the petrol gauge there. 
that uh, tells you how far you've got to go on petrol but as you can see once it's warmed up it clicks straight over to LPG so the green light at the top is denoting it's running on gas these four lights will light up to denote a full tank remember it should be about 85 84 litres on a 100 litre tank and then when it gets down to less than a quarter of a tank that will start to flash to denote you're getting close to the end of your gas supply when it does run out of gas it automatically runs or clicks straight back over to petrol and then there's an audible beep from behind this switch of course at any time you can turn the system off that's it running on petrol now when I press the switch you'll hear a click and that's a solenoid opening to allow the gas back into the engine go turns to amber turns to green and there we are running back on LPG everything works on the van as you'd expect but of course if nothing does work over the next few months you can take it straight back to Citroen and ask them to uh, repair it uh, distance till empty on the petrol side is 96 miles and then you have obviously various different trips that you can scroll through on the computer also like I said a head-up display which needs uh, radio two, and we also have steering wheel controls, which is very useful as well. We have the indicators and lights this side, and the wiper stalker, etc., on the other side. So, before I walk you around this van, I'll take you now for a short test drive. So, welcome to the test drive. Uh, let's pull away first gear. It's a lovely smooth clutch. It's about halfway up the pedal. It doesn't slip. Uh, pulled nice and cleanly. Third gear. Just click straight over to LPG. And the first thing you notice about any LPG vehicle is how quiet they are to run. Looks quieter than having a clattery old smelly diesel up the front. This will return driven sensibly around 37 38 to the gallon but with half price fuels you can turn that in what into 75 nearly 80 miles to the gallon in price terms so much cheaper to run than the diesel will it go and doing your bit for the environment as well with the reduction in co2 new particulates so much more environmentally friendly drives lovely and straight doesn't pull to the left or the right does exactly what it should and drives like all the other Blingo vans we have sold in the past I'll just find a safe place to stop fifth gear braking doesn't pull to the left or the right pulls up and drives exactly as it should with no undue noises so I'll just take you now for a final walk around this van so welcome back from the test drive. I'll walk you around the, uh, the Citroen Berlingo van. The windscreen is chip free. There are no marks to it whatsoever. Looking at all the tyres, looking at the discs, the discs are not lipped. And we have a Bridgestone on the front that I would say is about three millimetres. So there's plenty of tread left on it, but uh, it's not quite touching the wear bars yet. So about three mil on that front tyre, a Bridgestone. The front wing mirror has a chip missing, it must have been caught at some point to make you aware of that. The sides are dent free and it's not yet been polished this van, so it really is very very clean indeed. Uh, rear tyre Bridgestone, oh about 5mm on that, another Bridgestone on the back. The rear corners are fine, uh, although it's wet, some very 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 light scratches where things have been dragged out. No dents in the rear doors, the roof is dent free, no marks to speak of at all. The rear bridge stone, like the other rear, 4 to 5 mil on there. And again, they're discs on the back and they're not lipped. Uh, I've shown you already, very neat installation of the LPG filler. The sides are very clean, this wing mirror is fine. And the front near side tyre, again like the other one, 2 to 3 millimetres. Again, the discs are fine. The front corners, they're very clean as well. Sometimes we see scuffs on these, but uh, no marks at all. The front bonnet, there's an odd tiny chip, which I will touch in. And there's a slight shadow from the company that ran it, but that will compound out, which I'll do 
or have done over the next few days. So LPG converted, the extra large 100 litre LPG tank, um, cheaper to run than the petrol version, the diesel version, and the petrol version running on half price fuel. So if you'd like any more information, feel free to contact me, Jonathan, here at Eco Cars. Thanks for watching.